Welcome to this introductory video of my application, Iris uh, Generative Lab. Uh, this application leverages the functionality of LASK uh, Web Framework and SQL Alchemy uh, ORM on InterSystem Iris platform. Uh, we, we have Flask login, the authentication system, and we have chatbot. We'll use PyTorch, and for NLP, we'll use SPYCY Python library. Then we use Hugging Face uh, for an GPT-2 LLM model. Then we will see generative AI API, and then Google AI LLM, uh, then Chat GPT OpenAI. So this is the interface. So we have here the user registration authentication, uh, this part, and then chatbot functionality. This is the chatbot, and then we have uh, NER NLP method, uh, uh, sentiment analysis, text generation, Google Palm API, and Google Flan T5 uh, LLM model, and then we have uh, OpenAI ChatGPT. So we'll go through one by one. So first of all, we have to clone the repository, which uh, I already did it here. Uh, and uh, I already used docker compose up command. So, so next to, uh, this is our config file. And my config.py file, this is uh, in the Python library. And then in GenLab uh, folder, we have this ms config file. So these are the uh, iris parameters and then these are the three keys uh, for hugging face using Google Palm API we need this uh, key a hugging face and for this Google Flan T5 access L model we need also this Palm API key. Uh, so and then open API key. Actually, hugging face uh, might be for this one and Google Palm key for this one and open I key. And once we, how to get these keys is defined here. Uh, let me go through. So for Google Palm API, we have to just uh, uh, navigate to this page and then we have to create the open I key, this A key. And for this uh, hugging face, we need to just uh, create an account in Hugging Face and then in the setting, access token and we can create here the token. And for OpenAI, it's also, we have to register with OpenAI and we can create the secret key there. So let's start with the uh, registration and let's, uh, we need to run the Python application first. So we'll use the git bash. So let's copy this command. And here we let's uh, open the terminal git bash. Okay, after that we have to run the application. So we we'll use iris python command and we'll run our application. So this will uh, run the application uh, in it's here in the python folder. Then there is a file app file. This is app.py file. So what it will take the this uh, uh, website from here, GenLab, and then it will create this application, and after that it will run the application. So this create app is here. Uh, this this uh, pi file we have this create app, so it will create it will just initialize uh, this application these are the views it's using blueprint to register that views and we have this model user and here we are initializing our database and this here we are uh, assign the login view auth dot login so this auth dot py file uh, basically control all this uh, user registration and authentications so here this is auth dot py file so this is our login page this is sign up page and then we have change password and the logout page so it will use this model class 
to create this table so this is a user table so actually this when we are calling here the uh, here the create all it will if it's not there table not there then it will create the table as well and uh, it will connect to the database uh, so let's uh, run the application so after that uh, it will start the application on port 4040 so let's run it okay so the application is running on port 4040 let me run the application okay so application is running so first of all we need to log in here because if we just navigate to any of this option it asks the uh, this uh, the login authentication so this is already defined here in the view file we are specifying that uh, login required whenever we are calling these uh, uh, functions so let's uh, sign up so we have to give the email address and the password again so this user is already there okay so let's create this one test user password doesn't match okay okay finally the user is created and it's automatically uh, sign in uh, so we can log out and change the password so let's start okay so first so this is authentication part so this is a user uh, registration authentication and then we have chatbot functionality so we have here this chatbot you can say we can ask uh, well, hi uh, how can I help you uh, tell me about this application okay even there are typos but uh, it recognize so this application is expand become capable that's it uh, and then we can just say tell me a joke okay so this is a, a joke we can say thanks my player uh, and bye okay so this is a chatbot so how uh, I mean it's working so let's me go to the code basically it's calling uh, this function here we used it pi file and we have there the function here uh, predict so whenever we typing there it's uh, calling this function predict and it's getting the response from get response so this get response is from this get response is from this chat file chat.py so this is a chat.py so here we have the functionality mainly it's using this pytorch uh, library this is a machine learning uh, library so it's just uh, 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 taking this the data the data is here uh, this is a file chat data p, uh, pth and this is a intent uh, json file so first we are uh, we created we train the model by using this file train.py so again it's uh, uh, using this so uh, this library pytorch so it's reading the intents of this json file and then based on this it's creating the our model so this is our model and chat.py is using the same file so here we are saying the same file so so here they are just uh, returning the response from here so this is how the this chat gpt is working is using the pytorch mainly we are training our model and then we are getting the data so for example here uh, i'm saying waiting hi and about this this is for the application if i say anything ask about the application so it will uh, just reply this response and this is the joke uh, which i asked so 
next go to the next part so next we have this uh, name and recognition so let's uh, first go there so let's type here i already have this sentence just to save a time so here i'm submitting so what it will do it will just uh, uh, recognize the entities for example this is a person this is organization uh, this is a date person organization uh, like this so how it is working so let's go to the code uh, it, uh, this is a views.py and we have here ner so it's using the spacy this is nlp python library and we are using this model uh, so it's using this model we are loading this here and then after that it's doing their calculation and at the end it's returning the response and we are displaying the response here so this is how this uh, ner is working next we have this sentimental analysis so this is uh, uh, sentimental analysis just to type this expression so it's saying I abs absolutely love the movie and it was fantastic, fantastic and heartwarming. So this is a positive and this is a score almost 100%. So let's uh, type something I don't like, uh, for example, football, submit. So this is a negative and score is almost uh, 0.99 and if i just change this to like so it should give me the positive response so this is how the sentimental analysis is, is uh, working so this is a positive response when i said uh, i like football so let's go to the code for this one so this is a sentimental analysis is uh, using the pipeline of hugging face and we are using this option sentiment analysis this pipeline is coming from this transformers and it's from the hugging face so uh, that's that's what is uh, that's how it's working is saying pipeline then we are using uh, this converting this raw text to the result and then we are using json.dump to convert to the string file and then we are passing to uh, our application so next we have uh, this hugging phase gpt2 so let's go there so text generation so i am here i'm saying uh, machine learning is a great for humanity it helps so let's submit and let's see so it will generate some text uh, okay so it's giving me machine learning great for humanity it help uh, machine learning great humanity help everyone learn about past present uh, so and so and this is a source from where it took the the result so how it's working this is a gpt this is uh, uh, again it's uh, using uh, hugging face and this is a pipeline this time text generation here we were using the sentimental analysis sentiment analysis and here we are using text generation and we are saying use this model gpt2 and uh, then we are because uh, this is a free to use and uh, here uh, we are passing the text length and the sequence and after that we are getting the result uh, converting to the string and then we are passing to this uh, page so this is again is using hugging face and the transformers and gpt2 model next we have palm api so this is a google palm api uh, is accessing the advanced capability of google, google large language model like palm 2 so i have this uh, just simple we can ask so what is a google palm api okay so it just generated this result google palm api restful api mm, this all the response 
so how it's working let's uh, go ahead so this is a google palm api so this requires uh, this key palm api key this one palm api key which we are getting from uh, this my config file actually we are importing here this file and we are uh, so by this way we can access all the variables defined there so this is a palm api we are uh, just initializing here we are configuring by def uh, assign by just assigning this palm api key to this model palm model is here palm so is we are importing this palm from the google do generative ai so we are passing the api key and then uh, we are just uh, running this uh, commands and we are getting the text this is a uh, here we are calling this function of this uh, uh, palm api to generate the text and we are passing the model uh, the prompt the, uh, what we the text we are just getting from here in this function uh, here we are getting from the request.form and temperature we are saying 0 and uh, the max token 800 and so it will return the response so which we are passing here completion dot result so this is our response so, so this is how this uh, api is working okay so next we have google uh, flan so this google flan let's uh, uh, so this is the basically llm and here they have very uh, detailed uh, description here i mean the details we can find it here so these are the some examples so we can do all these things uh, translation question answer scientific knowledge question yes no boolean expression uh, all like this uh, so let's uh, so let's go to our application okay so i have this question so let's first ask this question uh, can Jeffrey Hinton have a conversation with uh, George Washington? Give me a rational before answering. Okay, let's submit. Okay, so saying uh, George Washington died in 1799, so but uh, born 1970, so the answer is no. So let's ask, let's do some translation. So I'm saying translate to German. So this is a syntax. Let's submit. So it's translated to German. Uh, I mean, hopefully it's German. So let's do in French. Submit. So it's translated to. Uh, French language so this is how this uh, model working uh, let's uh, go to the code so this is uh, our model G flan again it's required hugging face API token uh, which define in our MS config file and uh, here we are uh, creating our prompt asking the question uh, and we are providing the model so this is our model Google flan t5xxl and then we are calling this hugging face hub which is we are importing here from the lang chain uh, from the lang chain we are this importing hugging face hub llm chain so here we are just passing this environment variable hugging hugging face hub api token and again we are just uh, creating this uh, prompt and we are passing this uh, repo id and here we are calling this function calling this hugging first uh, hugging face up and this is a chain llm chain we are calling and it's returning the result and that's uh, this result we are passing to our this page and we are displaying there 
okay so the last one is the open ai so this is a chat gpt uh, we can ask uh, any question here give me give me capital of uk submit so it will just uh, uh, just run the chat gpt the capital of uk is london let's say usa submit so the uh, so why it's taking time uh, okay so saying uh, the limit is reach for this open ai key uh, anyway this is how uh, it's working let's stop this one and at the end let's go to the code so this is open ai uh, we are uh, just taking this open ai key uh, here we are assigning to the environment variable and we are again we are taking from this ms config file model we are using this one gpt 3.5 turbo model and we are using this chat uh, open ai this is from lang lang chain and here we are just uh, initializing our chain this is conversation chain and after that we are running this uh, chain and getting the result and this result we are passing to our page this is uh, where we are passing this page so this is how the chat gpt is working uh, i have another application this is irs chat gpt here here basically is using open ai and lang chain so here i already just uh, uh, demonstrated how we can use the functionality of uh, open AI and lang chain so uh, that's it uh, so at the end uh, we yeah, we have this uh, uh, SQL cami basically is it is created created the user table so we can just navigate to uh, to the management portal uh, super user and uh, sys and here just uh, uh, the table we'll find here SQL uh, SQL asterisk and this is our table SQL user uh, the fields are the same which we define in our model table so these are the we can just execute this query select statement and these are the two users uh, which we created this i done before and this is we created this uh, so that's it this is the introduction to my application uh, thanks for watching